Hey everyone, Ryan here again. Um, I am taking the time to make this quick video to explain how drum notation works for sheet music. Uh, and the reason I want to do this is because I'm going to be posting a lot of charts and drum exercises, as well as using notation to explain things like subdivision, odd time, and I want you to be able to follow along and understand what I'm saying. It's also a useful skill to have in general. You won't often get charts in the gigging world, but sometimes, say you take a jazz gig, pretty frequently you will get a chart. Most of the time it won't be a drum chart, but having a basic knowledge of how the rhythm and the um, notation works is going to give you a bit of a leg up. Uh, but in the meantime, the practical use of this is to give you an understanding of how the exercises I'm going to put up work so that you can take them on by yourself. Of course, I'm always going to be here to help, but having this basic knowledge is going to give you a good head start. So we'll start here. Um, I'm going to take a look at the final preview here and I'll break it down down here into how I built it. So this might look a little foreign, but if you've seen any kind of sheet music before, regardless of whatever instrument it is, this is how it's laid out. You have what's called the staff, which are these five bars and then the spaces in between and above. You have the time signature notated. You will usually see a key. There's no need for that for a drum because you can't really tune it to a key. Now, don't mistake that for saying that drums don't have pitch. They do. And you can get pretty minute with the details of tuning in that pitch. But for the purposes of writing notation, there's no need for a drummer to have access to the key. So we have this basic layout. And again, I'm going to go over subdivision later. So this is not to uh, put this on your plate and throw this at you right away so that you understand what all these different rhythms mean. It is just to break down what the different elements of the sheet music represent. So this right here, that is a crash. I'll play it for you real quick. You hear? So the hi-hat is up here as well as the crash. And I am going to be putting this little cheat sheet in. Um, it is slightly different from the notation that I'm, I'm using. Uh, it is usually more accurate to say that this is how it looks, that the crash is up here, hi-hat here. Everything else, I believe, is the same as the, um, the chart that I'm using. But just so you're aware, the crash also goes here, but it looks a little bit different. It's circled. I'll go back and you'll see what I mean. This is a really good cheat sheet for you to understand that the hi-hat is up here. The foot pedal for the hi-hat is here. Crash, ride, and then the rest of the kit. So I will be putting that up as well. So crash, hi-hat. We have cross stick for snare. I could also make that just regular snare. You see, I can edit it back and forth. So I have both snare and cross stick, but I want cross stick here because that's the purpose. Down here we have the bass drum. So you get this pretty simple uh, notation of just a, a straight ahead rock eighth note groove. Dunce. Goons, cats. Once again. All right. This is a notation telling you to repeat the previous bar. So I'll let it play out. See, it plays the exact same thing over and over again. And that is just as a, a writer, a composer on the sheet music side, that saves space. So you don't have to rewrite the same thing over again. You can just say, hey, repeat. So now that we have played those two bars, I'm going to move on to the second half here. So up here we had crash. Down here we have ride. The ride symbol here alternates. So you'll see this right here is this circled X is the ride bell. And then the regular X is the ride. So ride bell 
ride. All on the same line. The difference, the distinguishing factor, is the X is circled versus the X is just regular. Uh, it is the same groove pattern. The difference is there is now a full-on snare hit instead of a cross stick and ride. So I'll play it out and let you see what that sounds like. So we're exiting one, two, three, four on the ride bell. And again, the actual rhythm here is not super significant. I'm just trying to get you to understand what this stuff looks like and how to understand what it is. So once again, doom, doom, guts, doom, doom, guts. Still a very standard rock beat notated with ride bell and then ride. Move on to the next section. This is a fill that I wrote in. It is not super important what it is, but I want you to get a handle on the uh, different notation once again. So we have at the outset crash, and then we have ride, crash, and then all this stuff. So we have a, a kick and then snare. That's, that's not new, but now we have toms incorporated in and it's high, middle, floor, kick. And then back to snare, kick. And you'll notice that we also have this hi-hat notation. Once again, it's all on the same line. The difference is this up here. So this crossed out O, that indicates that it's slashed hats. So we call those slashed, it's a half open hi-hat where you're just you'll see what it sounds like. This is a fully open hi-hat followed by the floor pedal for the hi-hat. And what that does is it creates a really brief sound of the hi-hat open and then immediately closes. So I'll let you see what that sounds like. Da -da -da you hear that? It just silences it immediately. So you get the effect of the ring, but it stops. And so, you have in this notation all of the different elements that I have shown you so far, plus a few of the variations. So I'll let it play on once again. Now also note what this is. This double bar with these two dotted notes, what that means is repeat. How do you know where to repeat from? Well, look at the musical notation. All right, at the beginning of the bar, nothing. Beginning, nothing. Beginning, nothing. Okay, here we see the opposite version. So what's going to happen is I'm going to click play, and it's going to go back to the start. See? And it's going to play through. Repeat once again. Then our ride. And then this. Circuits. What just happened? It went back. So this repeat only happens once. That's how it functions. So why did it play again? Well, we have this bar. And you may notice the similarity between this one and this one. The difference being now there's two slashes where before there was one. Well, it's kind of intuitive. That means repeat the last two bars. So if I scroll ahead and just play this, watch this top part. It's literally just gonna See how it's highlighted, but it's showing you playing through the last two bars. And then because the bar line ends like this with a solid black bar, it's telling you this piece is over. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play it from the beginning so you can see it all go again. Uh, there's more notation than there is here, but this is just a primer. So let's go one more time and then we'll be done for today. So it is pretty straightforward, but there is a lot of nuance in it as well. If there's confusion on any points here, please let me know and I will be happy to go into a deeper dive. Like I said, I'm going to be using this notation in future exercises, so I definitely want you to get it. Uh, in the meantime, thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys next time. Hey guys, I don't normally record in this format because I don't super love uh, using my phone like this. 
but I just wanted to take a second to step in here and let you know that from this week moving on, I am going to be posting exercises up on my Patreon only. So the regular lessons are still going to be here for two months, but the exercises for you to practice are going to be available only to subscribers on my Patreon. Uh, the link for that is in the description, and I promise these exercises are going to be useful, and they are going to follow the notation that I've taught you. So I also will be engaging with people on that, so if you ever have any questions, that's the best way to reach me. I will answer you immediately, and it's easier for you to get a one-on-one. -on -one. So that's a really great opportunity. It's still super cheap. Go ahead and check it out. Link again in the description. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Bye.